Oh boy, this could be the biggest move for next gen. Sony? Yes, right. What's up? All right. started with this big news give this video a thumbs up why because the video is about to be fire we have a couple a couple of dope items for this video but the first one is huge Sony this isn't even a rumor this is reported this is coming from GameSpot Sony has just hunkered down 250 million dollars into Fortnite developer Epic Games. Epic Games. And so Sony has just bought 250 million dollars worth of Epic Games. Now, there's a couple of caveats with this. This is big. This is big. But compare this to um, a, 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 fur, a few months ago. No, no, a few years ago in 2013, in 2013, Tencent, the huge Chinese conglomerate, which is probably the biggest gaming company, bought 330 million to own 40% of Epic Games. What does this mean? Now, I could tell you what it does not mean. Does it mean, oh no, Fortnite is not coming to Xbox? No. Um, the deal, the, they have made it clear in the deal that um, Sony has just bought a minority stake. But $250 million? That is a huge minority of the company. And so the first thing they wanted to make clear is that Epic um, does, says that the deal does not preclude it from publishing titles on other platforms. Additionally, Epic has confirmed that Unreal Engine 5 will appear still on both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. And so, it's not going to affect the dealings of Epic with um, Xbox, but since Sony has invested hundreds of millions of dollars into the company um it doesn't go into specific how they're going to benefit but you can almost see of course the obvious is the more money epic makes the more money sony will make off of their investment and so sony's like go ahead xbox customers buy all the skins you want and fill our coffers um and so this is huge this is huge now i had a feeling something like this was going to happen why epic when they did the unreal engine their epic games they they're responsible for unreal engine 5 when they did the unreal engines 5 reveal they had it running on a playstation 5 in the reveal let you know that something was going behind the scenes with epic and sony making it buddy buddy it's good it's good it's good to see that this deal doesn't affect exclusivity of um, Fortnite on the Switch, Fortnite on on uh, the Xbox. Because at the end of the day, these companies want to make money, bro. It's like Microsoft. This is a little different than how Microsoft. When Microsoft bought Minecraft, they're like, "Go ahead, still, <laughs> still make Minecraft on everything," because they're still gonna, um, they're still getting the money, um, getting profits off of it. And so, the better Epic does, the better. On uh, Sony and the investment they just made will do the company will profit from it. So that's one um, benefit from this pro the profits. Now, what else can we sort of expect? What's going to be happening next gen? Exclusive skins. You could almost already see in Fortnite 
exclusive PlayStation skins, Ratchet and Clank skins, Ellie from Last of Us, or even Abby from Last of Us. I'm calling it right now. They're going to have a Joel skin in Fortnite. And so I could almost see exclusive content coming to the PlayStation 5 because of this deal. This is huge because both companies are looking for um, different companies to purchase and invest in for next gen to get a leg up on the competition. I have to say this. Sony went for the biggest two <laughs> already off the bat. They already have that deal with GTA. They started PlayStation 5 event with GTA 5. So they went, they went after Rockstar and Epic. Both those companies are too big to just buy outright to have exclusive on your platform. But you can tell they made some big moves behind the seals to where exclusive content, content will be on the PlayStation 5. So this is huge. This is huge. Um, Sony has just hunkered down just spent invested 250 million dollars into fortnite developer epic games but again i want to be clear not it's not fortnite is not going to be a playstation 5 exclusive but i can't wait to see what fortnite is going to look like next gen because eh, this could happen this could very well be a possibility fortnite did say in 2021 they're moving over to unreal engine 5 meaning that there's gonna be a big visual upgrade for fortnite it could this isn't out of the realm of possibility that it's a sony exclusive for a year um i think epic is too big to just like i said to buy them outright but sony could buy a year exclusivity on the new fortnite that would be crazy They've done it for Final Fantasy VII Remake. They've done it for other games. $250 million is a lot of money. So as the news comes, your boy will keep you updated. Um, but we already saw it coming. They were already in close relationship with Epic with the whole um, reveal of Unreal Engine 5. So should be, should be, should be interesting what happens next. The next news item, a new sony patent has been discovered that suggests playstation 1 playstation 2 and playstation 3 games could be all backwards compatible via the cloud the cloud the cloud there is one game on the playstation 3 i missed out on playing that i want to play so bad on my playstation 4 it looked like it'll be on the playstation 5 3d dot game heroes bro if you were a zelda fan bro this game pays homage to old school 8-bit games definitely i always wanted to play this game if this comes out on the cloud um if this patent is to be true on the playstation 5 day one buy you want to see what the patent looks like here it is that's the actual patent and you can see of course images of a playstation 1 with a disc circle in the middle that's obviously a playstation 2 obviously a playstation 3 boop boom bing over to the cloud onto the playstation 5 Ta -da! the backwards compatibility issue has been solved by sony so it looks like this is pretty big too because a big complaint for uh, the playstation 5 is how are they going to compete with backwards compatibility with the Xbox and it looks like this could be the answer to where Sony gets complete backwards compatibility via the cloud and PlayStation 5 would be powerful enough to of course run all of these games um, it was already been reported that Sony didn't put all their chips on the table in their first presentation I wouldn't be surprised in the upcoming state of play, the next, that's rumored to be in August, the next Sony event, that they reveal PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, backwards compatibility, full backwards compatibility on the PlayStation 5. That's big news, big news. You want some more big news? We're hitting y'all with the bangers this video, bro. This is being reported by Nintendo Leaks. There's a rumor from South Korea 
that Nintendo has been in positive discussions with Samsung about technology items including chips and custom architecture. I did a video earlier today, go check out my video earlier today on Nintendo talking about um, the next gen Nintendo Switch, which they pretty much all confirmed is going to be another hybrid console. And if it's going to be on portable, they're going to need um, someone who has expertise in portable chip making, Samsung, who makes them phones. And so the Nintendo Switch will have that Fire Mobile technology, boy. So um, again, as this news unfolds, I have you covered. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed anyway for my monthly giveaways. At the end of the video, I'll talk about it. But to stay up to date on all the Fire content and the last news bro so much dope news in this video we get the first playstation 5 box art you want to see it oh i think it's fire bro now we do know the console is that white black um contrast and it's going to be reflected in the box art the white strip along it it looks like more of a darker blue color i don't know if this color is just for spider-man um, but maybe the other games will have that same sort of background but you can still see it's still going to be the um trademark sony blue box i really don't care because i'm leaning towards getting the all digital anyway going digital for my um games it's just so convenient for me bro so um, we're gonna see um, we're gonna see how other um, arts um, box arts are revealed but this is the box art the first official box art for the PlayStation 5 I think it's fire bro flames all right dudes what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below I want to know but before you go that's my son trying to get in for the bro bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out boy you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me i gotta hook you up that's right i'm giving away a 60 dollars digital code every month for your platform of choice xbox nintendo or playstation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on youtube two follow me on twitter at ob1 plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces